Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReviewed.com. Today we have Dead on Arrival, DOA, uh, with that lovely uh, image of the dead foot with a dog or the uh, tag on it. Anyway, uh, Dead on Arrival. <clears throat> um, before I tell you about the product, let me first do my Sankey Magic disclaimer. Uh, Jay and I are very close friends. We've known each other for about 10 years now, and we've done a couple projects together. Um, we uh, A lot of times when he releases a product, um, he has me look at it and give feedback on it, and even some of my ideas have ultimately ended up on the DVD or whatever, uh, and vice versa. Everything I've released, I've had him take a look at it, and he's given me feedback and so forth. Um, now, everything I've done pretty much since I've known Jay, I've I've had him look at, but he has not had me look at everything he's released. Um, and this particular one happens to be one that I had zero creative input on. I didn't even know about it, so I was surprised when it came out. So it was kind of fun. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just letting you know. Uh, often I get accused of being biased because I'm friends with Jay. And uh, let me just say this: I was a big fan of Jay Sankey before I ever met him, before we became friends, because I think his material is great. His products are good. His methods are good. And uh, you know, I I don't think I've ever seen a Sankey product that I thought was just a terrible product. Um, I, some are better than others, obviously. But anyway, having said all that, I'm just letting you know up front, I'm, I'm a friend and fan of Jay Sankey's. Um, and so uh, take that for what you will, but know that I'm giving you this, uh, my honest opinion, uh, regardless of my uh, the fact that I'm a friend of Jay's. And so I'm about to tell you it's a five-star product. And so you might think, well, what was the point of that whole disclaimer? Because I'm letting you know it's a five-star product on its own merits, not because I'm a friend of Jay's. Um, and I'll tell them to tell you why. So imagine this effect. You take this, uh, you know, he included um, two boxes of matches with the, the product, but you can get your own matches. I mean, it doesn't, there's nothing special about the matches. So uh, you give out this box of matches and it's completely examinable and uh, they can look through it, do whatever they want, examine it, and, and then they hold on to it. They're holding on to it from the beginning now that they've examined it, if you want them to, uh, and they're holding on to it, you then bring out a deck of cards, okay? Um, the, before um, the cards come out, though, this box is handed to the, the spectator. Card is selected from the deck of cards. The, then on the back, you draw a circle on it, and they sign their initials on it in the circle. And then literally without exaggeration without even trying to protect the method here the the instant they're done signing the the card you take the pack and you put it back in the box no funny move you stick it in the box okay then you ask for the matchbox back you take the matchbox back you open it and now instead of just matches in there there's underneath the matches a folded up playing card that folded up playing card is very fairly you you remove it yourself but it's very fairly removed you do not switch the card you pull it out very cleanly after dumping the matches out and you unfold it and it is the signed you turn it over show the back that is the actual card that they signed their name on uh, their initials on that is, there's no duplicate initials. There's no loading the card in during the on the fly. Uh, there's no um, mercury card fold or anything like that. Uh, it's that clean, guys. It's super super clean, and it's so it's so easy, so easy. Um, you know, I I when I saw the trailer for it, I, I thought, man, is is he serious? That's that squeaky clean. And I'm imagining some crazy, you know, weird gimmick that makes all this happen. And and I'm I, I just couldn't think of any possible way to do it. Um, when I got the 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 product in the mail, um, I opened it up and I looked at it and I'm like, what is this? Uh, the, the, what I was looking at was nothing weird. It was very normal looking, but I couldn't. I I was like. Well, what does this do? I was trying to guess what these gimmicks were for, 
and and I knew that they went with this trick called Dead on Arrival, but it'd been a while since I'd seen the preview. So I'm looking at this going, what is the effect that these gimmicks are going to accomplish? I just couldn't figure it out. Then I watched the, the Dead on Arrival video and I saw the trailer again on there. I'm like, oh, I remember this trick now and how crazy it was. And I'm still looking at the gimmicks going, how is this going to work? Uh, and then finally, as I'm watching, I'm like, oh, man, this is smart. Very, very clever. Very, very simple and well within the grasp of anybody at any level. Um, you know, the only difference I think that uh, an amateur versus a pro would have with this effect is that the amateur is going to be a little bit afraid to do it at first. Uh, but just like a DL, I mean, the first time or a, a TT, first time you use one, you're just a little nervous that it's going to not work the way people says it works. And you find out, oh, crap, it really does work and it really is effective and it fools people and so forth. That's what you get with DOA. Uh, it's a method that is just clean, clever, straightforward, and it's it's about the most direct, bold method you can imagine for this type of effect. Signed car to impossible location. And it's a method I've, I've never seen. It. Uh, Jay's toyed around with the principle for this, but he's never applied it in this way. It's very, very clever. Anyway, so um, for $40, you get the DVD. And you get the gimmicks necessary. It's it's uh, it's one gimmick, but it's a couple of components. So gimmicks, if you will. Uh, and there's a teeny bit of uh, arts and crafts that you have to do to modify one of the things that you get. But it's simple. It, it just takes you a couple minutes to do it. And the good news is that thing that you're going to create is the one thing that does um, will wear out over time. I mean, you'll be able to do do this, you know, dozens, maybe even hundreds of times. But eventually that part will wear out. Replacing it is just literally the cost of buying a box of matches, which is super dirt cheap these days. So um, the only one little thing about the DVD that I felt was a little bit lacking um, was the part where you remove the card from the box, from the matchbox at the end. Um, due to the nature of, of the method, that part is a little bit... Um, I'm, I'm trying not to expose anything here. It's a little tricky it, it, to get the to handle the matchbox at that point in the routine, and I, I felt that like there wasn't really much covered about that. Um, it's nothing. I mean, you're gonna play with it and you're gonna figure it out. It's not complicated, but it's just a little touchy. Um, not even touchy. A little. Um, you just have to be careful. I guess is the right way to say it. And again, sorry, it sounds so awkward. I'm just trying to protect the method here but what it comes down to is the moment you remove the card from the matchbox you really are removing it from the matchbox so like I said there's not a switch there or whatever um, but you just have to be careful because you may expose the gimmick if you're not careful um, and I just felt they didn't cover really that part of the of it in the DVD but it's the kind of thing that you can very easily get done with mirror practice and you and and it's not something that you're going to go oh um, I didn't realize the gimmick might be exposed at that point. It'll be obvious to you that you have to be careful at that moment. And it's just going to be a matter of your style to figure out how to handle it. But I felt that he could have spent a little bit of time talking about that. But other than that, I mean, this thing is solid. I gave it five stars. Uh, and uh, this is the kind of thing. Now, one other thing I should tell uh, this is doesn't affect the rating, but it's uh, just so you understand. Um, the reset on this is not quick. Okay. Uh, the only way for a quick reset is is more you can actually have several gimmicks prepared in advance if you wanted to uh so you could have you know in your close-up case or in your pocket um you know however many you feel you could fit in your pocket without it cluttering up things but you can have seven eight nine ten of them in your pocket and then the reset is instant but otherwise you're gonna have to um reload the gimmick so to speak uh, in advance uh, before you can do the trick again so uh, that's just one thing to consider if you're strolling then this is the kind of thing where you will have to have a little bit of time for reset or like I said if before you go out for the night you've prepared seven or eight of them and have them ready in your pocket then there is no worry about reset so hopefully I've covered all the angles there um, so final verdict five stars Stone Status of Gem, D-O-A. Let's see what today's random iTunes song of the moment is. 
man, that's three Taylor Swifts today. Uh, I almost do. This is actually one of my favorite songs from her. I love it. I know. It's sad that a 40-something-year-old man is a Taylor Swift fan, right? Uh, no, it's not. It's awesome. She's great. Anyway, that's I Almost Do from the Red album, which is a really, really good album, actually. I think I have all of her albums, unless she's released one maybe in the past year or so. Um, but other than that, I've got all of her stuff. So, anywho, you guys know my Taylor Swift stories. I've told them all, and I think they're always the same story. So I've told it many times, so I'm going to shut up now. And uh, I got one more video to shoot here. And uh, until then, thanks for watching. See you on the next review. Peace and out.